This is a story about a girl named Henrietta, or Etta, a young violinist in New York who is put under tremendous pressure to exceed as a performance musician. Etta is set to perform at a recital, but her mother, Rose, and her music teacher, Alice, are suddenly absent from the theater. As Etta begins to play the violin, she hears a sharp sound in the distance and leaves the theater to find it. At the source of the sound, Etta finds Alice's dead body. A passage of light opens up and Etta goes through it. Etta finds herself aboard a ship where she meets Sophia, a girl about her age who pretends the girls are sisters. Sophia explains that they belong to families that can travel through time, through passages, and that her grandfather, Cyrus Ironwood, is the grandmaster of the families. However, all Etta can think about is trying to save Alice from dying. On the ship, Etta also meets Nicholas, a sailor who is hired by Cyrus Ironwood to escort the two girls to New York. Nicholas aspires to own his own boat one day and mourns the death of his brother Julian. They arrive in New York and Nicholas escorts Sophia and Etta to Ironwood. Ironwood talks to Etta and explains that he has summoned her because her mother stole a precious artifact called the Astrolabe, which can create new passages for time travel. Because Ironwood wants to use the Astrolabe to save his dead wife in the past, he tells Etta that she must retrieve the Astrolabe in a week or he will destroy Etta and her mother. Ironwood also makes a deal with Nicholas to make him wealthy if he follows her and ensures that she returns with the Astrolabe. After deciphering an encoded letter from her mother, Etta runs away and travels through a passage as Nicholas follows. Etta and Nicholas appear in London during the war bombings and meet up with a younger version of Alice. Passage guardians from another time traveling family chase Etta and Nicholas, who then hide in an underground station as the city is bombed. They escape through a passage and appear in a jungle in Cambodia. Etta and Nicholas kiss before entering another passage that takes him to Paris. Just as they are about to enter the next passage, Nicholas's father appears and they run. Etta and Nicholas then enter a passage to Damascus, where they meet Hassan, a guardian with Etta's family. Hassan helps them with the next clue, telling them they must travel through the desert to a temple. As they are gathering supplies in the market, Etta meets her mother as her younger self, and Nicholas is wounded badly. Etta is kidnapped by Sophia, who wants the astrolabe for herself so that she can rule over Ironwood, and they travel through the desert with two guardians while Nicholas goes after them. Etta helps Sophia find the astrolabe, but Sophia is double-crossed by the two guardians, who are actually thorns, hired men who work for a rival family led by Etta's father, Henry Hemlock. Nicholas arrives and fights the Thorns, but accidentally shoots Etta. Sophia makes a deal with the Thorns, and they leave with the Astrolabe as Etta's body begins to disappear in Nicholas's arms. Stuck in the temple to die, Nicholas is visited by Rose, who explains that she had killed Alice to force Etta to enter the passage and destroy the Astrolabe. Rose promises that Etta is not dead and plans to meet Nicholas at a future time and date. In the end, Hassan rescues Nicholas and they find Sophia nearly beaten to death in the desert. If this video was helpful, please share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe for more Minute Book Reports, and thanks for watching.